Iranian teachers hold three-day strikes in protest to government policies. Teachers in more than 100 cities across Iran, held three days of strikes and protests from Saturday to Monday, protesting the regime's refusal to address their most basic needs. On Monday, December 13, protests were reported in several cities in Iran. Teachers held placards that read, Free education is the undeniable right of all students. Teachers don't belong in prison, imprisoned teachers must be freed. Strikes, assemblies are our undeniable right. Education justice, implementation of the classification bill. Teachers are fed up with discrimination. In Tehran, security guards attacked teachers who had gathered in front of the Majlis, parliament, but the teachers resisted, and continued their protests. On Sunday, December 12, regime president Ibrahim Raisi handed the budget plan for the upcoming Persian year to the Majlis. While the needs of teachers, government employees, retirees, and millions of other Iranians are unmet in the plan, the Revolutionary Guards (IRGC) is being bolstered with a 240% increase in its budget. The regime's state-run propaganda apparatus is also receiving a 58% boost to its budget. Teachers have been regularly protesting the regime's disregard to their problems. The regime delayed the ratification of the classification legislation for several months. Now that it has been ratified, it is only addressing a meager part of the problems the teachers are facing, which is why they are back in the streets to reclaim their rights. Majlis, Parliament Speaker, Mohammad Bagar Galibov has announced that the 250 trillion budget was declared by the government and it will not be changed. Praising the teachers and their protests, Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran NCRI, urged students and other Iranians across the country to join the teachers in their just demands. This is an uprising for justice, freedom, and national sovereignty against a predatory regime that has destroyed all of Iran's wealth and assets, Mrs. Rajavi said.